In Good Shape, your health magazine on DW, featuring an interview with a different expert every week. The patient we just saw uh, was suffering from polyps. What's the problem with polyps? Polyps can um, eventually evolve into true carcinomas, malignant tumors. And those are the tumors which can kill patients. Yeah, absolutely, they can yeah. kill patients, that's right. So, so if you perform a colonoscopy, you see the polyps and they can remove them. Yes, that's the goal. You see the polyps, you detect the polyps and then you remove them. And thereby you have prevented development into tumors. So the, the development, how long does it take time for the polyp to get into uh, carcinoma? It differs, it depends on the tumor biology, but it can take decades, 10 to 30 years. Um, but it's very safe to find the polyps? Uh, so, so if you do the colonoscopy, do you find every single polyp which mm -hmm. is in the colon? Not every single um, polyp. It, it depends on the expertise you have and on the technique you use. And, uh, but um, the sensitivity is widely over 90%, and the polyps you find, you should aim at removing them. Yeah. When I think about my patients and my surgery, and I say you have to go to colonoscopy for preventive medicine reasons yes. and they always say oh they don't want to do this because it's a taboo area yes. where to perform this right. uh, so, so how, how do you motivate your patients to yes. get into this I can understand that they feel ashamed somehow right but they have a good reason to do it firstly the most most people are afraid of the procedure itself right. but we can tell them that you don't feel anything during the procedure the preparation is the worst thing once you have um, actually done the preparation and everything is just fine and um, the preparation means the day before. Right? Yes, the, yes, yeah. but the cleaning of the bowel, cleaning of the, the large bowel. bowel. Yeah. And then the procedure itself, you don't realize a thing because you get a medication which will sedate you and you will not notice anything. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the benefit is enormous. By, by removing a risk for cancer, you have done a good thing to yourself. But some patients, indeed, are afraid not only of the procedure but of the result as well. They don't want to know if they have a problem. And therefore, in Germany, for example, only every five people, every fifth people uh, do it. Is it. What about those other preventive tests you could do, like looking into the uh, stool and see if there's blood in the stool? Is, is this a, a good preventive measure as well? Uh, potentially, yes, but at the present time, no such test is good enough, not sensitive enough, to replace colonoscopy. Why is that? Because blood is not always shed by the tumors, not at every time point. You're measuring the blood. So if you have a ne negative blood test, that does not mean you have no tumor. Okay. And therefore, that's a, that's a big risk. It's called sensitivity, and the sensitivity of the test is just too low. And then what about this new modern test where you don't look for blood itself, but you've got those immunic tests, yes. immunology tests? It's a protein-based test, which is more sensitive, but not sensitive enough. In the future, you will look at the genes produced right. and shed by tumor cells into the stool. That's a nice technology, but it's too expensive at the present time. But perhaps in five to ten years, we'll use that uh, chip technology to detect tumors. At the present time, there's no way around colonoscopy. Yeah, back to the colonoscopy. Isn't it a dangerous procedure if you stick something into the large bowels and move it around that you could puncture the organ? Yes. Of course, it has been done by an expert. It was well trained. But if it's done by an expert, then the risk of, of uh, causing harm is far less than 1%. Uh, in your clinic, how many polyps do you find here per year? How many tumors do you prevent by finding them? If you look close enough, you will find polyps in almost every patient. But not every polyp is a dangerous polyp. Sometimes the pathologist will tell you that's, that's a benign thing, that's nothing harmful. But sometimes you see that this polyp is on its way to develop into cancer, and this one, of course, has to be removed. Mm -hmm. And then the follow-up study um, should be performed, say, about three years later, but mm -hmm. not 10 years later. Okay, and in your patients, what do you say? When should you start going to colonoscopy? At which, which year? In a healthy patient with no positive family history, um, uh, meaning that there's no other pe person with colon cancer, it's recommended as of age 55. Okay, and this is true for women as for men? That's right. Men have a slightly increased risk, so men could do it at the age of 50, but the recommendation, official recommendation is 55. Right. Professor von Weizsäcker, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank You're you. welcome.